So what's up YouTube? Uh, I don't know if you guys mess with these things, but I got this. It's a 44 jet propane burner I use on this trailer out here. I, I cook, do big corporate events, and uh, I cook crawfish on this thing. And then, and these tanks, about 325 gallon a piece. These tanks and that burner basically sits right there. It bolts down right there uh, below this tank, and. Uh, I had to pull the tank to get the burner out. I basically built this thing, designed it, and built it. Uh, but there's a propane tank on the front, and I got a 40-inch grill and a 12-gallon fish fryer. And over there's a is a pressure cooker. We put nine racks of ribs on it, and I fabricated a smoke box for the grill. Um, so anyway, that uh, that's where this propane burner came off of, and uh, it's, it's giving me issues because these jets, these little jets, were, they were blowing flames out the bottom, right here, of the of the jet. So, uh, well, one of them was at first. So I pulled the thing out, I went in, and I got me a metric uh, tap and die set, and, and tapped the. Uh, the hole where the jet screws into and I, I went and got some JB Weld and put the thing back in there. It worked fine. Uh, then three more did the same thing. Had to pull the tank, pull the burner again. So I'm like, man, you know, screw this. I'm going to pull all 44 of these jets out and just go in and, and JB Weld them. And that's what I'm doing right now. So basically, uh, it works. It's a quick fix. These JB Weld tubes is this this size which is uh yeah and they're an ounce a piece they're like seven bucks it's plenty and more than enough to do this little job right here uh and i'm just going in and and uh basically just covering the outer edge of these threads with this stuff and just going in and just screwing them right right back in where they go and uh I'm obviously not going to sit here and show you every one of them, but that's that's what I'm doing. And, you know, just tighten them down with a wrench. And uh, I'm going to go around this whole thing like that. I mean, this stuff's like high temperature. I think it's uh, four, like over 400 degrees, which the lower section of this burner really won't ever see any heat. This one was because it's blowing flames out the bottom of these jets. Uh, it's a quick fix. I was, I was buying new burners they're about a hundred bucks a piece you know they come with the jets and uh there's my pile of jets right there but uh basically man that you, you put these things in with jb weld they're not going anywhere you're guaranteed not to blow any flame by the bottom of these things and it's it's a quick fix i mean i went in and, and tapped every one of these holes with that die set uh metric die or tap and uh uh, yeah, so the threads are right, you know, going back in, and uh, they'll take take that that JB Weld good with a good set of threads. So, um, and I guarantee you, it's gonna, I mean, probably last twice as long as as the uh, the original version. They do put some type of a setting material for these uh, jets when they come from the factory, but it's real weak stuff, whatever it is. And uh, when I pulled this thing out, I was actually able to unscrew these by hand. They were handy. So uh, anyway, that's a, it's a quick fix for you if you have the same problem with these burners that I do. Just, uh, hey, man, $7, a couple tubes of JB Weld. You're good to go. Later.